Okay, good. <laughs> so today we're going to be simplifying radical expressions. Wait, it's it? part two. All right, you ready, class? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Sing me something. Yeah. 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 That's always good. I'm not streaming. Nothing beats live programming. Here we go. Okay, so last time we talked about simplifying square roots, and now we're just going to take it to the next level. Here it goes. Are there any factors of 147 in which one of them is a perfect square? You got it? What? 49 and 3. 49 times yeah. 3, good, yeah. It's not visibly apparent, but it's there. 49 times 3. So, let's do it like this. Okay, we did a little splitteroni. It's my favorite pasta. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't have splitteroni. 49 times 3, what's the square root of 49? Seven. Yes? Seven. 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 So can we write 7 root 3? <coughs> 7 root 3 is here. Good. What's the square root of x squared? Meaning what times what equals x squared? Yes? X. X. Does that make sense? What times what equals x squared? X. 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 So we write x. Many times people say this is the square root of x or something. It's a common mistake. It's not. It's just x. What times what is y to the 6? Yes? Y to the 4th times y to the 2nd. Not, not necessarily. Y to the 4th times y to the 2nd would be uh, taking too many steps. Let me ask you this, or that, the class. What times what is y to the 6? Y to the 3rd. Y to the 3rd. Oh. Y to the 3rd. Oh. Y to the 3rd. Times y to the third equals y to the sixth. Because you add exponents. Because oh, right? you add exponents, right? Okay. Because you add exponents, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. a bummer. Okay. I'm gonna have to scrap this one. Okay. It's a bummer. Yeah. I want to say bye. Yeah. The battery flat is flashing. Yeah. The battery flashing. Oh, say bye. My bad. Oh. Say bye. We're gonna get it back. Bye. 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 We had such. A... Okay. And. We're back. Okay, so we have a little issue with the battery. Yeah, technical difficulties with the battery. But I'm a trooper. Are you guys? You're good? We're cool? Yeah. We're, We're, good. Good. We're, We're able to pick it up again? Okay, nice. Did you say woohoo? Woohoo! <laughs> I wish I could do that. So the square root of y to the 6 is y cubed. Any questions? No. No. All right, now over here. Yes? How is y cubed? y cubed times y cubed is y to the 6, right? Okay. Remember the rule for adding exponents? Okay. So that's what it means, right? It looks weird because we add the exponents, yeah. But y cubed times y cubed is y to the 6. But isn't y cubed also the square root of y to the 9? No. No. The square root of y, there is no real square root of y, square root of y to the 9. What times what equals y to the 9? You're confusing, which is common, that and that. What's the square root of 9? 3. Three. Yeah. Square root of y to the 9 is... We have to talk about this now. Let's talk about this. Can we split the z to the 7 so that one of the factors can be perfectly squared? Yeah. Z to the 6. Say it louder. Z to the 6 and z. Z to the 6. Why can't you do z to the 4th and 3 and you can split z to the 4th? Okay, good. If we did z to the 4, times z to the 3, we would again have to split z to the 3. So we'd have to do it in two steps. Okay. This is the simplest form. So this is a way to do, reduce our steps. So what is the square root of z to the 6, just like y to the 6? It's z cubed. Z cubed. So I'm going to break, it, break this down again. Here we go. Z to the 6 times z. So I broke it down just into two pieces. This is z cubed. Does this change at all? No? You can say no. So this is z 
cubed square root of z. Good. So final answer multiplies all these four things. So on the outside, we have a 7. What else do we have on the outside? A oh, question, question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. If it's z to the 7, and it's, and it's not like z to the 4th, let's say, or something that can be reduced into, you know, like two numbers or whatever, would you suggest that we do, like, the number before it and 1? Yes, make it an even power, the highest even power. The highest, okay. The highest even power. Okay. z to the 7, make it z to the 6, and another one. So z to the 13 would be what? Z to the 12. Z to the 12 and times Z. Z. Good. Z to the 101 would Z be? Z to the 100. 100. Okay. So Z to the 101 would be Z to the 50 square root of Z. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's multiply all these outsides. I'm so happy people ask me questions. It's great. Seven's on the outside. What else? X. 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 What else? Y. What else? Y. What else? Anything else on the outside? No. no. Yes. What's on the inside? 3Z. Three Z. Three Z. My goodness. That's it. Qua, 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 questions. Are there any? That was my DJ. Thing. Okay. So what's going on? Oh, we forgot. Well, uh, well, watch out for the way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 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 There's a little, this is our love zone. <laughs> you can't erase the love. Don't erase the love. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Now, there's a rule for exponents. Okay, Mrs. Spot. Spot. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, I don't do windows. Alright, three. <laughs> okay. Here's the issue. A rule for square roots. Does anyone know it off? That, what's a rule for square roots? Yeah, do you, you know? can't have it as a denominator. You can't have square roots in the denominator, right? That's the rule we need to address. How do we get rid of the square roots?